Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So towards the end of last year, moving into this year, as I have posted, Microsoft is starting to focus on Windows 10 once again by bringing Windows 11 features over to Windows 10. And yesterday, late yesterday in my region on the 4th of June, Microsoft has now announced something interesting where they've announced that to bring new features and more improvements to Windows 10 as needed, um, they need a place to do active feature development with Windows Insiders. So they are now opening the beta channel for Windows Insiders who are currently on Windows 10. So it seems that Microsoft is breathing so-called new life into Windows 10 once again now by opening up a beta channel for Windows 10 Insiders. So now for Windows 10, we get release preview and now we also get beta. Now, Microsoft says that this will allow um, them to try out new features for Windows 10 version 22H2 with insiders before releasing them to all Windows 10 customers. So obviously, it seems now that although Windows 10 is, um, its support is ending um, next year in October, it seems now that Microsoft is going to be pushing out a couple of new features before that end date. Um, but nonetheless, moving on. So they mentioned that if you are an insider on Windows 10 and want to try out new features for Windows 10 and um, when Microsoft has them, uh, you need to head to your settings, update and security, Windows Insider program, and then you click on the current Insider channel selection to expand and see the full list um, of Insider channels. And then obviously you need to choose the beta channel and it says, ideal for early adopters, preview and provide feedback on pre-release features for Windows 10 and Windows 11 in a stable environment. So basically that's where you'll find it if you are an insider and you want to try this out. And something, some important things to note, they say for insiders on a Windows 10 PC that meets the minimum system requirements for Windows 11, Microsoft says they will not automatically upgrade you to Windows 11 when you join the beta channel. The, the Windows 11 upgrade will be available as optional where you can choose to upgrade when you are ready. Something else they mention is that you will be able to switch to the Canary and Dev channel. Um, but in doing so, it will upgrade your PC to the latest Windows 11 build for those channels. So just take note of that. If you switch to Canary or Dev, you're going to move up from Windows 10 to Windows 11. And if you switch to the Canary and Dev channels, you will have a small window to roll back to Windows 10. But once the window closes, the only way to go back to the beta channel and or Windows 10 will be to do a clean install of Windows. So some important points to take note of with that announcement. Then something else to take note of is they say for insiders on a Windows 10 PC that does not meet the minimum system requirements for Windows 11. They mentioned you will not see the options to switch to the Canary and the Dev channels as these channels are only for Windows 11 insider preview builds. And they mentioned that the Windows 10 end of support date for October 14, 2025 is unchanged. Now, that's what Microsoft is saying. I still personally don't think that Microsoft is going to end support for Windows 10 officially on that date. But nonetheless, that Microsoft is still saying that on 14 October next year, they will be ending support, even though they are now including a beta channel for Windows 10 insiders. But they mentioned that um, for more information on the extended security update program for Windows 10, um, I'll also leave a video in the end screen because after the 14th of October, um, if according to Microsoft, if you still want to use Windows 10, you're going to have to pay and subscribe to the ESU, which is the Extended Security Updates Program, and subscribe to that. And as mentioned, I'll leave a video in the end screen if you'd like some more info. So that's some important information. Now, something else they mentioned is many features in the beta channel will be rolled out using controlled feature rollout technology, which I just call a controlled rollout, starting with a subset of insiders and ramping up over time. As Microsoft says, they monitor feedback to see how they land before pushing them out to everyone in this beta channel now for Windows 10 22H2. And then they also mention that um, insiders in the beta channel who want to be the first uh, to get features gradually rolled out um, need to have this toggle turned on get the latest updates as soon as they are available on your Windows update page. And that, and that also applies um, to the stable version as well. So there you have it. Um, Microsoft is so-called breathing new life into Windows 10 by opening up a beta channel now for Windows 10 insiders. And interesting because um, with just over a 
year or so to go before they end support. They are now wanting to test new features. So watch the space. I personally don't think that support will end next year in October 2025. And obviously, as these beta channel updates roll out, I'll keep you guys posted and in the loop for Windows 10. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.